Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Widi Suka. I just created this channel around two weeks ago and this is my third video. I would like to keep sharing stuff that I love on this channel and wish you could also find an enjoyment by watching my videos. Therefore, I humbly request you to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos so you don't miss my next uploads. So today I'm going to review my Saint Laurent Toy Lulu in taupe color, which I think is the perfect color to my liking. So here's what the bag looks like, and this is the closest I can get to its actual color. Um, it is slightly darker than the beige color, but it's not too dark either. So it is like an iced coffee latte kind of color, and it gets lighter though when you bring it under the sun. Um, the color also perfectly matches with the brass hardware that brings out the warm feeling uh, from the bag itself. So I just love, love this color. It, it fits most of my neutral outfits and it can definitely be worn all year round. So the story behind it is I bought this, uh, this bag online in early December last year from a boutique called Miss Louise uh, in Melbourne. Um, instead of paying $2,150, which is the current retail price, I paid only $1,777.50. Uh, the reason for that is because it was listed under the old price, uh, which was only $1,975. Then I received an additional 10% uh, VIP discount with free shipping. So that way I saved um, 372.5 Australian dollars, which is equivalent to 260 uh, US dollars. But there is an apparently a trade-off. Um, in my case, uh, where the boutique considered it as a final sale because of the discount. So it was quite brave for me to buy it online, but I'm glad I had no complaints or whatsoever on the presentation of the bag. <laughs> so it was a, a satisfactory experience for me. The bag I have does not have an adjustable strap. Uh, I believe Saint Laurent just released uh, a new version that has an adjustable strap, which is more convenient for most people. So because of that reason, I was worried um, that the back would be too low for my body uh, since I'm only 160 centimeter or 5'2 ish. Um, so, way before purchasing this bag, I visited a local boutique in my area that displayed exactly the same uh, color uh, of the bag and I tried it on my body. So, this is how it looked on me back then. Uh, I, I was in my second trimester of pregnancy, so you can obviously see my bumps on the pictures. Um, the bag is sitting comfortably crossbody. However, I think it is a bit too a bit low when I put it on my shoulder. But honestly, it's not too bad for me. So essentially, the non-adjustable strap does not really bother me. So after some considerations, because I already fell in love with this bag, I just decided to purchase it and never regret it since then. Now let's see what fits in this bag. Um, as you can see, I already packed my stuff inside the bag. Um, it's quite full now. So the, this is just a small bag which measures only 20 centimeters uh, in length, um, 14 centimeters in height, and um, seven and a half centimeters in width it actually fits all my essentials so um, here I have my sunglasses uh, on top of everything inside the bag I'm going to show you uh, my sunglasses I, I purchased these sunglasses two, two years ago and it held up really well it, it's from Oroton I forgot which series I have, but this is a good one. 
I'm not sure if they still have it in store, but I love that sunglasses. I have my eco bag. Um, this is really essential. Every time um, I need something um, beyond the capacity of this bag, I'll put um, I'll put them inside this eco bag. And I have a sunscreen with a really high SPF from Neutrogena. This is also my favorite sunscreen. Um, it, it's not oily and it's transparent on my skin. So I've been using this for quite a while. Um, I have uh, a hand cream from Aveeno. Next, I have a lip balm. And the, I have uh, my Rosalie coin purse that I haven't reviewed yet, but I did unboxing uh, video on this on my first video on YouTube. And lastly, I have my hand sanitizer. I almost ran out of this. So as you could see, the small bag fits everything I showed you. I can still save some space by maximizing uh, the three card slots uh, inside this, inside this bag. There are actually three card slots here. I hope you can see that on the screen. Yes, I, I don't carry a lot of cards with me. So I only need my debit card, which I can place here my in health insurance card and also my driver's license and if I need to carry some cash or coins I can also place it in these um, zip pocket in the bag so at the moment I don't put anything except the care card um, in here but definitely you can use use these and then save some more space in here and as for um, a phone I don't really place my phone inside the bag because I use it a lot and it would be bothersome to to keep opening the bag just to take out your phone um, however uh, a regular size phone definitely fits in here uh, I'm going to show you in a moment so this is um, uh, an iPhone 12 Pro. Um, I'm going to place it in the back uh, side of the bag. Uh, it, it fits and there's still some space left and you can put like a small wallet or lip balm or anything else in the bag. So it would be ideal if the bag has a back pocket uh, an outside back pocket I mean like on this side and it would make it easier for us to reach out for the phone from outside instead of from inside like this so the last thing I'm going to show you is how I store my bag I always put um, bubble wraps and also inflatable wraps uh, to maintain the shape of the bag and then I unclip one of the strap here and I rolled it in like this uh, so the strap would remain smooth and unbent and after that I'll place it on top of the bag on top of the bubble wrap like this which is really neat right and um, after that i just let the bag breathe by letting the flap open i don't i don't i let it unbutton like this and um, i'll show you what i do after that i store this bag inside this dust bag like this Yeah, I don't tie the dust bag or whatsoever, so it allow the um, the bag to have some sort of air circulation um, 
and it doesn't harm the leather um yeah that's all for today i hope you like my video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and enjoy the last looks of the bag bye